Hi everyone, today I have this no makeup makeup look to share with you guys. This video is going to be a little bit long, but it's jam packed with good information. The first part of the video is me applying this look, this no makeup makeup look. And then the second half of the video is me going in depth with each product that I use plus some other really awesome recommendations. But for the sake of this video being already super long, I'm going to cut this intro short and I hope that you enjoy. Just make sure that you watch the whole video to get all of the good information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. To start out my base, I would typically use something different, but I did just purchase these Paracomb MD Vitamin E products, the brightening serum and their uh, photo brightening moisturizer. I just want to try them out. So now would be the time to apply a primer if that's important to you. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation and this does have SPF 15 in it. This product is a little thick so I do like to sheer it out with a beauty blender but it kind of just feels like a thick moisturizer on the skin. So just in comparison, this side has a Natasha Denona and this side has nothing except for our moisturizer and stuff. You know, this side just is a little bit more evened out. It's honestly like a little bit more glowy. It just looks a little bit more awake. You look less dead, you know? So I, I do like this product a lot. So concealer is really up to you. Personally, I kind of feel like this base is doing enough for me other than I really want to cover up this uh, thing right here and maybe put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. So I am going to take a little bit of the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I like this concealer a lot because you really don't need to focus too much on blending it out or anything. It just kind of blends itself out and does a lot of the work for you. It's also not too, too much covered so you can still see your skin peeking through, but it covers enough. And you can get more coverage if you use a brush with this, if you just put like a brush, a fluffy, a small fluffy kind of buffer brush in there. Apply it directly to the face, you do get a lot more coverage that way. But with my finger is fine, I'm just using my ring finger. So I'm not going to worry about setting anything just yet because I am not done putting cream products on my face. So once I go in with powder, it'll be kind of hard to work with the cream products that I'm going to be using. For my contour today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. I adore this product. It's really affordable and it works super well. I like using the Real Techniques sculpting brush for this and I just put the brush in the product, apply it where I apply my contour and do kind of like padding motions. Like I definitely pat it into the skin, but look how seamless that looks. Like that looks natural. Like it looks so good. It looks like my skin. I just love it. Take it up into the hairline up there and then down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that product on my ring finger and just put it on my eyelids. I know that there's some darkness already on my eyelids, uh, just naturally. But by doing this, you can kind of like control a little bit more where the darkness goes. So what I recommend you doing is applying your highlight before your blush. You want to look like you're glowing from within and you can still achieve that very beaming highlight look. It's just your highlight will look more like a glow from within if you apply it underneath your blush. So how I'm going to apply my highlight today is I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured in the shade Opal. And I'm going to be using some on my beauty blender. So I'm just going to be like patting my beauty blender into the product and then patting it into the skin. And honestly, if you're using the Natasha Denona Face Glow, you really don't even need to bother highlighting because like, that on its own just looked so good. So next is blush. I love the Glossier Cloud Paints. My favorite cloud paint duo is Dusk and Storm. Them on its own are really nice, but then mixed together is just a match made in heaven. So I just took a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to mix the two together. The remainder of the cloud paint on my finger I always put on my lips. And then just tap your brush in there. I'm using the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. And I just 
tap the cloud paint into my skin with the brush. I feel like eyebrows are so important for a no makeup makeup look. I kind of alternate with my brow products a lot. Today I'm going to show you guys the IT Cosmetics uh, Universal Brow Pencil. I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up, but I just start by shading it in. I like this Universal Brow Pencil because the shade is uh, still pretty light so you can't really overdo it. I focus a little bit more on the outer portion of my brow. Brush it out, brush it up. That looks good. And then I've been really loving the ColourPop Boss Brow Gel. And I'm going to be combing the brow hairs up. I like this brow gel because it kind of like thickens the brows too. Like the individual brow hairs, it just like thickens it. Like, bitch, she looks good. I forgot to turn my mic back on, so the rest of this is going to be a voiceover. I'm just using the Glossier Lash Slick, and I show you guys what that looks like, like on one eye and then not the other, but I'll talk about that more later. I'm now using the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in Undercover. I'm just lining my lips with that product and then also kind of filling them in a little bit, not too much because I am going to go over it with a lip balm anyway. Um, but you can choose to skip this step if you want and just leave the cloud paints on the lips. That looked really cute too. But I'm also just taking that brush end and then kind of blending everything out and making my lines a little bit more seamless. And then taking my favorite balm.com in rows and then adding that to the lips. And now I'm taking my Wouter from Glossier and using that uh, Morphe brush and just applying it to where I need exactly leaving the bridge of my nose alone to keep that natural shine that I really like and then I also go ahead and only put a little bit underneath my eyes I show you that I like that outer corner of my eye to be glossy but I do set the inner portion of my eye because that's where I get creasing but then I just set my face and then that's done so this is the finished look for you guys. I'm sorry that the last bit was a voiceover. I just really thought I was going to remember to turn my mic on. Anyway, I'm still going to talk about all the products that I used and I'm going to give additional recommendations because there's so many good products on the market. Starting out with uh, good moisturizers. I really love First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Priming Moisturizer. It gives a beautiful finish to the skin just by itself. Like sometimes I'll just wear this by itself because it does have a good glow to it. So I really like that about this product. And then I also really love the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I don't have that with me right now. It's at the house that I'm house sitting at, but I love that one. I probably wear that moisturizer more than any other moisturizer that I own. SPF wise, I really like the Glossier Invisible Shield SPF 35. I like this one because it just goes on clear and it also smells really good. Primer wise, if you were going to use a primer, I think that the NYX Honey Do Me Up is really beautiful on the skin. It kind of makes your skin have like a very glossy, natural sheen to it while also allowing the product to stick really well to it because it stays pretty tacky. So whenever I use this product and then put like a foundation over top of it, my foundation is like stuck on there for all day. So I have a few different foundations that I would recommend to someone who wants that no makeup makeup look or someone who wants um, just a, like a lighter coverage situation. Um, first, obviously being that Natasha Denona face glow foundation, you saw how it performed. It looks beautiful on the skin and it has SPF 15, which is also a, a good plus for people who are worried about the sun. It is thick but it feels like a thick moisturizer it doesn't feel cakey or anything something that's also going to be a little bit more full coverage is the it cosmetics cc cream this one is full coverage but it does feel like a moisturizer it's more coverage than the natasha denona one it also feels like a moisturizer and it's also thinner like it feels like a 
thin moisturizer with more coverage than the Natasha Denona one if that all makes sense. So yeah, I really like this product too, and it's SPF 50, so that's pretty crazy. And they also just expanded their shade range too. I set up the display at Ulta for their new shade range, so that's that's good. Something more like a tinted moisturizer, like a true, a true tinted moisturizer, is going to be your Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. This has light to medium coverage, and it also has SPF 30. I like this foundation for every day. It has a true light to medium coverage and it's just very um, effortless. Like it's very user friendly and I can just kind of slap it on and know it's gonna look good. More so with the It Cosmetic CC Cream, I do have to work a little bit harder with making sure that it it's laying nicely on the face. Rather with this one, since it is a lighter coverage, I can just kind of put it on with my fingers even and just blend it out and it'll look it'll look good. So two very true light coverage products are going to be the e.l.f. Cosmetics Foundation Serum. This has SPF 25 in it. This is a very true just flat foundation serum. It's going to add a little bit of coverage to your face. It's going to even out your skin tone a little bit. It just kind of so you have some product down there for just evenness um, but it doesn't really do all that much covering but I do really like this product a lot and it's very affordable I mean it's elf cosmetics and it looks very nice on the skin so I haven't tried their new skin tint formula the Glossier skin tint formula I'm interested to try it but I also really like the original formula I find that it's it's good. I don't think anything's wrong with it necessarily, but I am interested in trying the new formula. However, I think it still stays true to that very light coverage foundation, just a light coverage product. I think it's just like putting an extra layer of skin over your face. It just evens things out a bit. It doesn't add really much coverage at all, but it just, it evens things out kind of kind of corrects a little bit of discoloration but nothing too intense. If you do want some extra coverage, I do recommend the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I think that the Stretch Concealer is really nice, very user friendly and very forgiving. All you really have to do is take a little bit on your finger and like pat it on to an area that you want covered and it's covered. So I like that the Glossier Stretch Concealer is hydrating. So it covers the pimple but also hydrates it so it never looks like flaky or gross and cakey. Like I think that's just very nice. And then it also looks rather good underneath the eyes. I do experience creasing with the Stretch Concealer. Unfortunately, I know the claim is that it like stretches to your skin so like there is no creasing technically but it does crease but you can always kind of counteract that creasing with a light powder. So moving on to our cheek products, I obviously really, really love the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour product. I think it just blends in beautifully over top of your skin and your foundation or whatever product you have underneath it. I think it still works really well even if you put it over top powder. I think that this product is just overall awesome. Like I really enjoy it. I will continue to repurchase it. And then I just really like applying it with the Real Techniques uh, sculpting brush. I like applying any cream contouring product with this brush. I think that the density of it is uh, just right for a cream product while it's still fluffy enough to blend things out really nicely. Another cream contouring product that I like quite a bit is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I like this one a lot, however, they need to release more shades of this. I I realize that Hoola is an iconic shade for Benefit's bronzers, but I do need them to release darker shades. This is the lightest I could possibly go with a bronzer without it being my skin tone, which is annoying because there's so many shades darker than me. Also, I forgot to mention the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint, and this has SPF 30 in it. I really like the skin tint. I also really like how it smells, but it looks so good on the skin. It just has a really nice sheen to it. Um, it has that sunshine oil that Milk Cosmetics cells it has it mixed in with the formula and i really like that oil too it's like nice and hydrating on the skin it looks really good and i really enjoy it and i wanted to share it as a no makeup makeup product so moving on to highlighters obviously i use the becca cosmetic shimmering skin perfector poured in the opal shade i really like this uh poured formula i want to purchase some more shades in it i think 
It works really well. I love how it sits on the skin. Another kind of cream highlighting formula that I really like, the MAC Cosmetics Cream Color Base, and this one that I have is in the shade Shell. Very similar to the Skin Perfector Poured, a nice cream base. I think that you can use this product on your eyes and stuff too. You can use the Becca one on your eyes too. You can use anything anywhere because makeup has no rules. And then like a liquid highlighter that I really like is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Highlighting Fluid. And this is in the shade Sin. It's a little bit more intense. Like just, I don't know, it's just a little bit more shiny and, and brightening, I guess. Uh, but I like this one a lot. I think it looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like anything and it blends in really nice. So just for a powder option, I really love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is such a timeless highlight, but I love how it looks. I think um, you can wear it over cream or powdered looks. Like it always looks good. Even apply it with a beauty blender to kind of make it into like almost a cream product but I love it. I love how wet it makes the skin look. Now on to cream blushes. I am in a full-on relationship with the Glossier Cloud Paints. I freaking love these things. I highly recommend them to anyone who has never tried Glossier before and wants to try some of their products. I highly, highly recommend Cloud Paints. I think that they sit so beautifully on the skin. There's one for anybody. Like, there is a shade for you. You just have to figure out which one it is because there's one for you. For me, I have to say I love Storm. I think it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous on its own and it's gorgeous when mixed in with Dusk too. I love this combo so, so much. And then also I really enjoy Haze. These ones are kind of just meh to me but on me. Like, the shades look really beautiful on other skin tones or other people, just like whatever their preference is, but these are just my freaking babies. I love them. They are so beautiful on the skin. Really versatile products. I like using them on my eyes and my lips and my cheeks, obviously. Other cream blushes that I really like are the Stila Convertible Color blushes. It's a formula that I've been using for years. So this one is Lilium and this one is Peony. I swear I've been calling Lilium Lithium for ages. But yeah, I especially just love Peony. I think that it works really well with my skin tone. And again, like the cloud paints, I do like using the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contouring Brush for these products. So I just tap it into the product. But I will sometimes go on the back of my hand and kind of just like take off any excess product and then apply it to the skin the same exact way. Let's talk about eyebrows. I really like the Essence Make Me Brow. I find that it distributes color really nicely and it also does a good job at lifting the brow hairs up and keeping them in place. I always like to lift the brow hairs up to make my brows look fuller, make it look like there are more hairs, and just make them look a little bit more furry. An iconic brow gel is the Glossier Boy Brow. I do kind of just keep this one in my bag just for like on-the-go touch-ups. The wand is really, really tiny. It distributes product really nicely like the Make Me Brow one, and it does keep your brows in place for like a little bit longer than the Make Me Brow one, but I have been loving the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. This brow gel is insane. I just really need them to come out with tinted versions of this brow gel but it's so, so crazy good. It almost feels like you're putting through like a mousse in your, in your brows, like a volumizing mousse and coating each hair with that volumizing mousse product. It's so crazy, but it like thickens the brows, keeps them in place all day. It really like lifts them up. It's just such a good brow gel. I highly recommend it to somebody who's on the market for a new brow gel. The only mascara that I can really recommend to you guys for that like no makeup makeup look is the Glossier Lash Slick. As you can see, it really just like coats the lashes very minimally to just like make them a little bit longer, a little bit more black, and a little bit more lifted. Um, and that's all it really does, which is 
is good. Like that's what you want if you want a look like this. So I have a few good no makeup makeup lip products to share with you guys. Most of them being lip liners. So often I really just like slap some lip liner on and then some lip balm and leave the house like that. It just looks like my lips are naturally beautiful when they really aren't. I really just love that pinky brown. I think it works really well on um, my skin tone and my look. So I really like the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in Undercover. So that's what the undercover shade looks like. Another huge favorite of mine is MAC Lip Liner in Spice. This is my second one. I love that shade. Just like a little bit lighter. Honestly, these are probably all gonna look the same because I buy the same lip products. And then I really also like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. This is in the shade 1993. Still that pinky brown, just like cooler, I guess, cooler toned. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Liar. This one's like a little bit um, more purple toned, but still can kind of give off that same... Um, look you know this product that i really like from lancome is their matte shaker like their uh juicy matte shaker this one is in the shade sea sand sun i also really like completely nut but my sister has that one up by her school she took that from me um but i really like this one too that's just what that one looks like um, it's just a cute pink. It looks really natural on the lips. I like the completely nut one a little bit more because it's a little bit more brown. I just really like that look. But yeah, these are really nice too. And um, they kind of just give a nice tint to the lips and also feel like conditioning. For a good like tinted product, I love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Uh, it just gives a nice like kind of raspberry tint to the lips if you're into that sort of thing. If you want a good, affordable, everyday lip gloss, I do really like the Ulta Beauty Juice Infuse Lip Oil. I'll just apply a little bit. They're like really nice and juicy. I really like them. And then obviously, I love the Glossier Balm.com, uh, specifically in the rose flavor. It's my favorite one. I also really like the birthday cake one. And then for powder, I have yet to find a very nice natural powder like the Wowder. I think the Wowder does a great job as just an everyday, like, set it and forget it kind of powder. Other powders are like just a little bit too heavy for that everyday kind of look, but the Wowder is not heavy at all. It is kind of just like nothing on the skin, but it does mattify and it does set fairly well. And then as far as setting sprays go, as long as you're using one, you should be fine. As long as you get that like dewy look from one. And then also like setting sprays will help kind of bind all the products together if you're committed to the look. Definitely go ahead and get yourself an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It'll just help the products stay on your face because we all know that this no makeup makeup look, it's cute, it's trendy. The lasting power of it isn't great. So the All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay is the best setting spray out there if you want your no makeup makeup look to last all day and it will you'll definitely see a difference that's really all i've got for you today i would totally be interested in doing more videos like this uh trying out other products i would even be interested in doing a drugstore version of this this is just products that I swear by and would recommend to anybody. Leave your recommendations down below and any questions you may have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video and hopefully I see you next time.